all right what's up YouTube back at you with another video all right so I've gotten a few DMS a couple of text messages asking me what I think about the Jada Pinkett Smith interview which I didn't even see um, I wanted to wait until I got on YouTube on camera to talk about this shit so um anyway so I'm gonna watch the interview and I'm just gonna give my immediate thoughts and reaction which is pretty much what they were going to be or what they've always been um with or without seeing this shit so without further ado let's get into it surprising things in the book but the thing that surprised me the most that i actually had to reread it because right. i said is this true right was that in 2016 you and will decided that you were going to live completely separate lives yes. it was not a divorce on paper, right. but it was a divorce. divorce. So from the year 2016, which is seven years ago now, <laughs> yes. y'all have been apart. Yeah. But in public, the couple who married in 1997 denied the gossip about their marriage. This interview <sighs> on Bravo's Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen was taped a year after Will and Jada separated. So how long have you guys been together? Uh, 23 years. Wow. wow. That's amazing. How do you keep it hot? Um, how do I keep it hot? Uh, you know, uh, maybe, I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm baffled, really. Yeah, right. Wow. Over the next several years, Jada and Will kept up the appearance of a committed married couple. They even faced a scandal when Jada had what she called an entanglement with a family friend. Neither let the public know they had already split. So I guess my question is, I feel like you're a straight talker. I am. Except you're not sometimes. Yeah. So why do that? Like, what was the reason? I think just not being ready yet. Mm still trying to figure out between the two of us yeah how to be in partnership right and in regards to how do we present that to people you know and we hadn't figured that out during our walk in baltimore jada reflected on their breakup why did the relationship fracture oh why it fractured that that's a lot of things yeah and i think by the time we got to 2016, we were just exhausted with trying. I think we were both kind of still stuck in our fantasy of what we thought the other person should be. Oh. Jada says she considered a legal divorce, but could never go through with it. I made a promise that there will never be a reason for us to get a divorce. We will work through whatever. And I just haven't been able to break that promise. Mm. But you still live separately we live separately i have so wow. many questions all right so wait, let me hear what this guy has to say so do i i have so many questions it was the strangest um it was the strangest kind of revelation mm -hmm. to realize that these two people have had separate lives i mean they had not called each other husband and wife in all of those years except for the appearance everywhere except, they went except for the appearances right including at the oscars yes which, by the way there's a whole chunk in this book that we're going to get into in the dateline special and also a little later here of what happened in that moment when he said you know get my wife's name out of your mouth yes. that kind of thing yeah. there's a whole backstory all right okay all right because clearly they're just talking just for the sake of talking because they're on television that's what they're supposed to do so i'm really just going to give my thoughts and i'm just going to get straight to the point as best as i can everybody all right it's unfortunate that jada and will or will and jada they become the butt of a lot of people's jokes all right and it's unfortunate because these are two individuals that tried so hard to set a great example for people to follow you know what i'm saying and i feel like they've both been doing a great job not trying so hard to be perfect all the time these things happen every single day people have relationships people have marriages that have a beginning a middle and an end and 
the lesser percentage of those endings are ever on good terms. So you see what she said? She said she made a promise that no matter what, they would fix whatever issues that they're going through. They would work through their problems and divorce is not even on the table. Most couples are not even capable of that. In fact, breaking up and getting a divorce is always people's first options. That's why you see most marriages only last, what, maybe between one and, and, and a few years, like, like two, three years, mostly, and then they call it quits. So I think they're showing you the dark side of the moon, that marriages are not just, you know, fucking, you know, rainbows and sunshine all the time, that you have disagreements. Sometimes the marriage might not be 100% what you think it should be, but because people projected perfection on them it wasn't even i don't think it was will and jada as much as it was the public you see what i'm saying because everybody looked at them and they were like oh i want that will and jada love so they're the perfect couple and they're not allowed to have problems and they're not allowed to get a divorce and they're not allowed to have any issues whatsoever to me that's not fair so it's like for these people to be pulling out their phones and seeing society talking about them in the worst kind of way to me i i almost feel bad for them now i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie i did think that the word entanglement was kind of funny all right i'm not gonna lie i did laugh at that shit. even though i'm a will smith fanboy i'm a will smith super fan i did find the word entanglement funny so when i would be looking through the instagram comments and i would see the word entanglement i would laugh a little bit so if you saw me kind of you know hiding my smile <laughs> That's because, you know, I thought of, you know, entanglement and all that shit. But again, I just think that Will and Jada have done a great job at showing people what it means to be married, to be in love, and to be most importantly, partners. It takes a whole lot more than, because I think people just think that relationships is just romance and being in love all the time and everything is perfect. That's not, that's not true relationships marriages go through it they have their good times and they have their bad times and will and jada is no exception and like i said before i'll say it again no will smith slander will be tolerated period because everything will and jada is going through there's a lot of other people that are going through the same shit too the difference is is that other people's shit is not on front street it's not on tmz and freaking nbc news and good morning america you know what i'm saying like how would you feel if your relationship problems was on the fucking shade room every other day, people poking jokes and fun at you in the comment section. Like, that's not cool, but yet we're supposed to be a society that that cares about mental health and, and other people's feelings and black love, right? But then the one couple that has been trying to maintain that image for you, y'all laugh at them. And then you criticize them for fucking being human beings. I'm not mad at Jada Pinkett Smith at all. I'm not mad at her. Like, this reminds me of, you know, the whole Tia Mori thing, or Tia Mari, whatever, however you pronounce her last name. And basically, she was saying that her relationship with her ex-husband just ran its course, and she outgrew it, and they got a fucking divorce. So, and people are mad at her for just growing as a fucking person. Sometimes those things happen, but the inability to comprehend that type of mindset and attitude is just fucking immaturity most people just haven't lived enough life yet to be able to see those types of things for what it is they're just it just again like who they are today is not who they were 23 24 25 years ago people grow and people grow in different directions but i think the most important thing is the fact that they were able to you know be on good terms, be amicable, be positive, work it out for their kids because they don't want to put out that image because that's not who they are. They're so much bigger than that. And that's why those two will always have my respect, period, period. That's it. Because people will be like, you know, somebody hit me up and like, I see where he might be coming from in a sense that like, oh yeah, you know, she's doing Will dirty and all of that. But I'm like, look, until Will Smith, I meet him one day and he just tells me oh i felt like you know i was done dirty in that marriage or some shit like that then okay but we haven't heard anything from will smith and he's not even the type of guy to really be out here saying that type of stuff because he was never that guy 
he was never that guy. And then what's funny, the one time that he showed a flaw and rightfully slapped Chris Rock across the fucking face, society vilified him for it. You know, so, um, yeah, those are my thoughts. I mean, like, like I said, I think people really should just chill. Like, even when she says things about Tupac, people will just be, you know, like, laughing all the time. I will punch somebody in the face over Will Smith. If somebody says that they dislike Will Smith, they most likely will dislike me, okay? Because I've taken many pages out of Will Smith's book. He is somebody that I have aspired to my whole entire life. So if I ever see his name being smeared in the media or some shit like that, I am always going to come to Will Smith's defense. Whether I meet this man or not, it does not matter because what he's done for me, you know, uh, how should I say, like, as an actor, entertainer, and just overall public figure, it doesn't even matter if I meet him. You know what I'm saying? And I feel indebted to him as an individual that has benefited from his philosophies, his films, his work, his personality, all of that shit. So no Will Smith slander will be tolerated, period. And again, people should aspire to have such a layered relationship with their partner. Relationships are not just romance, sex, going on dates, taking pictures and, and holding hands and all of that shit. No, because if you are banking on those types of things to get you through a relationship, that shit is not going to last that long. And again, like I said earlier, that's why you only see, you know, marriages genuinely lasting one, two, three, four, maybe five years. You know what I'm saying? You on average. Okay. That's because people go into marriage with the expectation that shit is supposed to be easy all the time. And that, you know, again, it's all sunshine and rainbows. What gets you through, what gets you to where Will and Jada got to, which is a very long fucking marriage, is partnership, just like she said, you know. And again, people should be taking notes and learning from them rather than laughing. Because that's the problem with society today. People don't, people spend more time laughing and thinking everything is entertainment than really thinking critically and saying, well, what is she really saying? What can I take from, if, if I admired their marriage so much and if I wanted that Will and Jada love, then what can I take from this whole ordeal? And how can I apply it to the relationships that I have right now or the relationships that I will have in the future? You know, but again, you know, that's that's society now anyway. Everybody, you know, is always just, you know, laughing and all of that. And it's okay to laugh, but, you know, sometimes you got to take shit seriously. And, you know, but welcome to 2023. So as always, please be sure, as always, to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts, and I will see you on the next one. Peace. Good luck.